when I joined Europe, it wasn't like it was very dramatic or anything. I mean, it was dramatic because I left easy action and it was hurtful to leave the guys like that because they were my really good close friends. It was really a hard decision to make, but I felt I had to do it in the end. But it was in October 1986. And the thing was, Europe were big in Sweden, but not really anywhere else. You know, it, it hadn't started to happen yet. The Final Countdown was pretty new, newly uh, uh, released. And um, I guess the, the first, and we, the, the, the first two months, the only thing I saw was the inside of a rehearsal place because we were rehearsing for the Final Countdown World Tour that was, was going to start in, in January uh, 1987. So I didn't really have a lot of contact. There were no cell phones. I mean, we had a studio phone, but not a lot of contact with the other world at all. I mean, we, we just rehearsed and played and, um, and had fun. Uh, so we, we weren't really aware of a lot of things. And then we had to do a trip to Japan and we didn't know that it completely had exploded there. And we would later to be uh, informed that it exploded everywhere, but we had no idea. We landed in Tokyo and two guys from the record company came and said, big problem, big problem. Uh, okay, big crowd, many people, many people. And we said, wow, yeah, fuck yeah. Isn't that the point of this whole thing? We're rock stars, a lot of people. You don't, you don't understand. A lot of people, a lot of people, big problem. Uh, well, we didn't know what he was going on about until we, we came through uh, customs and all that and attempted to go out. And th there was like 10,000 people waiting, you know, outside at the airport to see us. And they were hysterical. They were waiting for a long time for us to see us, you know, and it was at the point where if we would have just been stepping out there, it would have been, look, I got his arm, I got his head, you know. It, we were up for grabs. So we had to form like a little uh, uh, alley of, of the guards from, from the exit to the limousines, you know. And as we were going, it was still really dangerous because people were pushing from all directions. As we were going there, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And when I jumped into the back of the limousine, and there was a one of those with glass roofs. And on top of it were people swimming around on the roof, just trying to get a glance of us. And there were people under the cars. Over it's, it's a miracle nobody died. And I was sitting there and, and this Swedish journalist was sitting beside me and I said, Beatles documentary, because that was the only scene, the only thing I ever saw that even reminded me remotely of what's going on right there. It was crazy. And from then on, life wasn't the same anymore. We couldn't go out of the hotels for starters. We were trapped in our hotels, we were trapped in our venues. After every gig, we had to do a runner, that's what we called it, the last, encore and just run off stage and this tour manager gave us one row beach we jumped into a car through the back entrance and away otherwise we were surrounded by fans and could be kept hostage for hours and that happened before we realized we had to do it this way that happened a couple of times and then we got wiser but it was just crazy the following years and i, I don't think anybody in the band was prepared for that. I mean, how can you be prepared for that? And I didn't see that coming at all. I, I, just, I was just picturing, you, you know, you were asking me, you're asking me earlier, did you, was it like you expected it? And I have to say, in this case, no, because I was picturing like this. I'm, I'm playing, it's a lot of people, yeah. And afterwards I'm talking to, oh, you like the show, great. You know, it wasn't like that at all. Playing and, and everybody go crazy. Yeah, afterwards, security, try to get the hell out of there as fast as possible if you want to live. <laughs> if there was any pressure, they, they did a very good job keeping it from me. I mean, it was very effortless. And, 
And they pretty much treated me like I've always been a member, which I'm glad for, because I would have been getting very nervous if that would, would have been the fact. But they, you know, uh, so getting into the studio, I was pretty confident. And I, 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 I had rehearsed my parts really well, and I was well prepared, you know. Uh, and I had loads of song ideas. That was not, that was one thing I, I had to realize pretty fast though, that there's a lot of politics in music as well. Because I had, I, I was living in the Bahamas at the time. I, yeah, it's a tough job, but someone has to do it. But, <laughs> and, and I had my first home studio there. So I had loads of demos that I brought with me, but only, I mean, parts, parts ended up in different songs but only one song that i wrote from scratch is on on that on the, that album just the beginning uh, which was completely my idea and melody and everything but and and title and most of the lyrics and everything but uh, uh the rest got chosen were put out deliberately because and the, uh, i was told by the manager you know, Joe, we wrote the final countdown and we can't blah, 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 and so on, you know. So it wasn't like people normally discuss these days as if the best songs wins. You know, when you're talking about outside writers, if uh, we have an outside writer with a stronger song than the band can supply, then we have to use it to get a hit. But uh, no, it was it was pol politics. And, and that, of course, made me disappointed because I had a lot of... Uh, really good song ideas that didn't make the album. Then I realized this is the real world, you know? Uh, but uh, besides that, I mean, uh, uh, and also I got a lot of tough love from Ron Nelson, the producer, because, and it's like, it's like a wake up call. This time it's serious, you know? You can't fuck about, this is the real world. You gotta be really, paying attention to each detail and we really did but I think the outcome was fantastic and looking back at it, it was pretty effortless we knew exactly what we wanted to do and we accomplished it 